Hello friends, how are you? So in this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to paint watercolors without blending. So without any further ado, let's start. The muse for this painting is Nora Fatehi. I hope you know her. She is so beautiful. And I'm adding a little, okay, not a little, uh, it's a big sunflower. And I think it will look cool or beautiful, whatever. And these are the watercolors that I purchased two years ago and still they are in good shape. I'm quite happy about them. These are the watercolor brush pen that I'll be using along with a round brush. This is it. And this is a Sewn Poverty Box. I hope you recognize it. Now I will show you the colors that I'll be using. These are for cheeks, her rosy cheeks and pink lips. Some other colors for face and this is burnt sienna I'll be using for shadow part of the face. And there is a little greenish tone in the uh, reference image. So I'll be using this sap green color as well. Uh, you can read all the names of the colors that I'll be using for this painting. You can mix these uh, colors to get various skin shades. So let's start painting. So first of all I'll be doing the base color. Uh, for this I am mixing more of water with less of orange color as I want to keep the base very light. I am keeping this very light because uh, at this stage I am just uh, finding out the highlights that I have to save. Because in watercolors uh, you have to go from light to dark. Because uh, later if I uh, do dark colors in the beginning then later it will be difficult for me to find uh, to color the highlights. So as you can see uh, I have. Uh, I haven't colored the highlights like the cheeks, nose and I have only colored where you know I can see a lot of orange. Now I'm mixing colors. See I'm not uh, doing the colors exactly like the reference because this is not a realistic painting or I don't want to exactly copy the reference, uh, the colors of the reference image. And I will advise you to erase the dark pencil marks before coloring as watercolors is transparent. Your pencil marks might still be visible once the painting is finished. And it will be not easy for you to remove that pencil mark once you are once you're done painting. So as you can see I am keeping the colors very light and still I am saving the highlights. All I am trying to do is do the paint in one stroke. And I am not worrying about you know blending the colors as this video is not about blending. This is about doing the watercolors freely. And you can see I'm just laying colors layer by layer. For the cheeks, uh, I'm using uh, this Crimson Lake color. See how lightly I'm doing this color because here I'm adding layer by layer so once this layer is dry i will add another layer of crimson lake color friends you have to be very gentle with your brush strokes especially when the paper is wet because when the paper is wet it's prone to damage even the soft bristles of your paint brush can damage it so you have to be very 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 light Okay, I have said very, very, coffee, very, but you, you can see how lightly I'm painting, right? So you have to be this gentle. See what I have done so far. Uh, I have just seen the colors that I'm seeing. Okay, 
just like uh, for the cheeks i saw pink so i chose crimson lake which is quite pinkish in color and i see lips that are pink so i chose crimson lake again and for the face i see it uh, quite orangey or orange color so as you can see i have done the base with orange color so nothing fancy nothing too hard nothing uh, to understand just do the colors that you see just do it and i am using a very limited palette for this very reason because i don't want to make this tutorial very complicated for the beginners as i have done this tutorial for the beginners only so i have tried to be as simple as possible and without even blending you can achieve great results and i am adding another color to my palette and it's persian blue persian blue mixed with crimson lake gives you a purplish color and if you mix persian blue with burnt sienna then you get a very dark color similar to black but not to not black you can see for the dark part like the eyebrow uh, I have used Persian blue mixed with burnt sienna. I'm not using black color because using black color at this stage can be risky. Once uh, all the layers are complete and I am happy with my colors, then only I use black color. Now you just watch how I am laying the colors without blending. I know you have watched this pretty far and uh, at this point you might wanna skip this video and jump ahead but i won't advise you to do that because this is the process that you should learn It's urging me to color the iris, so I'm using Persian blue mixed with the burnt sienna and crimson lake to make it blackish, 
but it's you know not so black but if you look at it from a distance you will see it as black Now I will paint the hand and for this also I am using orange color as the base. Now let's paint this big sunflower. So I'm so there is no reference. I am using another reference for this sunflower, and the base is orangey. And as you all know, the petals are yellowish in color. As you can see I haven't painted the eyelashes yet so it's time to add some black color so finally I'll be using black color So friends in this tutorial video I will not paint hair as I will make another tutorial video for painting hair. As many of you have requested me to do a separate video on uh, how to paint hair so I will be doing that and I will recommend you to stay tuned to this channel, do subscribe it and press the bell icon to never miss any notification or any other video that I upload and friends this channel has reached 6k subscribers and this is huge I just want to thank you wholeheartedly for your continuous support and motivation without your support it wouldn't have been possible so thank you thank you so much and I will keep uploading such videos and tutorials for you so i will see you in the next video till then take care and keep doing art